Hey guys, what's up? It's Joseph Michael, your Scrivener coach. One of the questions I often get asked is, is there an easy way to preview my EPUB file after I export it out of Scrivener? Uh, without, you know, hooking it up to your iPad or tablet or something like that. Because let's face it, there's, there's a few steps involved in that. Now, I found an easier way. And I want to show you that today. It's super simple and you don't have to have a tablet at all. All you need to do is have an internet connection and you're going to be able to view it right in your web browser. So I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to walk you through this step by step here. I'm just going to use this example project here. I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And I'm noticed I've, I'm compiling for EPUB. Okay, so, and let's see, is there anything else I want to change in here at the moment? Um, I did add a cover so that you'll be able to see that in the finished product. And I'm just going to click compile. I'm going to save this to my desktop just so I know where to find it. Got a few different versions here. Let's do this. Okay. All right. All right. Over in Google, just simply type in magic. Yep. Scroll.net. All right. You'll see this magic scroll ebook reader. Click on that. It's going to bring this up this very simple interface here with a couple sample books here. All you need to do is click on this add a book to your library. I'm going to choose my file that I just exported. Okay, there we go. Click open. And there we have it. There's my EPUB file. You'll see that with my cover there. Now I can click on this. and It'll take me right inside to where I can preview exactly how things are going to look. Okay, so there's my cover. Here's my table of contents. This is something that a lot of you guys will probably end up playing with. I know I do this quite often if I change things or I want to make a custom table of contents and I want to see how things look. I can simply export it. Um, throw it into this magic scroll reader real quick and just preview how things look, how they're going to look for people uh, with a finished product. And I can just simply click through here and you'll see this is how it's going to be laid out. So this is great. Um, also when you're playing with your compile features in the formatting scene, you want to make sure everything's laid out and looks just right. Now this little magic scroll has a few cool features here. Uh, it does allow you to jump to a certain section in your table of contents. It also gives you um, different color themes to choose from so I can choose this solar night um, it can increase my text size you get the idea here it also has this really cool feature called enable scrolling okay so with that selected let me show you what that does is as I'm reading notice the page I don't have, I don't even have to leave it I don't have to click the arrow buttons to go to the next page I just simply scroll now, if it's something you want to read for a while, you also have the ability to click this play button and it will play at a certain speed that you designate. And you can change that. You can increase the speed or decrease the speed depending on your uh, speed of reading. This kind of stresses me out a little bit, so I don't really enjoy that. <laughs> so you can hit the space bar to stop it or pause it. And there's also this list of uh, hotkeys. So you can press H, and it'll show you the list of different little hotkeys you can use. And there you have it, guys. A really quick and easy way to preview your EPUB files without even having a digital device or hooking up any kind of tablet or iPad or anything like that. I hope you found that helpful. Go ahead and play with that a little bit. Share this video with anybody you know. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Helps me spread the word more. And of course, you can always find more tips and tricks over at LearnScrivenerFast.com. That's it for this quick tip. We'll see you in the next one.